Good day everyone and welcome back to Venult Films. I know it's been like a year since I last uploaded a long video. Well, not a year, four months, but I'm going to start trying to be more consistent with long videos, but <laughs> no promises there. Um, now, a few days ago in a community post, um, of this one here, I asked for your guys' hot takes on Alton Towers. Now, I asked for about three to five, but ended up getting eight. Well, seven, but one is mine. So today, I'll be going through these hot takes and giving for and against arguments, also my opinion and overall opinion. And yeah, stuff like that. Uh, so with that said, let's count down the top eight Alton Towers hot takes. Also, if you go on to like this video, help me get to 1K subs by subscribing. Well, our first hot take is that Smiler is worse than Wicker Man. Smiler is rough with worse theming and some transitions are really jarring. Now I've heard a lot of people say Wicker Man is the best ride in the park. Personally, no, but it's still a top four. Now lots of people say Smiler is rough, lots say it isn't. I say it's mainly smoothish the whole way around, except the last two inversions. They can be quite rough from time to time. But yeah, overall I think it's quite smooth. And yes, Wicker Man is better theming, obviously. But personally, I think Smiler is the better ride. I do think Wicker Man is a better experience. They could, they're both amazing coasters. But as a thrill ride, Smiler is better. But I still kind of agree with this hot take. But I don't think Wicker Man is better than Smiler. Our second hot take is that Nemesis is slightly overrated. Still a top three coaster. Now, I think this is the case with Nemesis, Smiler and Wicker Man. But all of them are a bit overrated. Now, out of those three though, I would have to say Nemesis is the least overrated. I mean, it literally paved the path for every great coaster in Alton Towers. Except Rita. But yeah, still a top three coaster. Same for me. Personally, I don't think it's too overrated, but still can be sometimes. But I think quite a lot of people would call it overrated. And a lot of people wouldn't. I guess that's up to you. But personally, I don't think it's that overrated. Our third hot take is that Galactica is better than the Smiler. Smiler is jointy and the last two rolls are terrible. Galactica may not have the theming, but great inversions, yes. I fully agree. Galactica is better than the Smiler, and now probably most of you won't agree with me and Indiox. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But Galactica is so much better than the Smiler. Like I said before, the last two inversions are rough, and yes, the inversions on Galactica are so much fun, especially getting rolled on your back for like 10 seconds. It's just the sensations on Galactica. It's almost like the bird. You're flying through the air. This is like no other roller coaster. Wow. So yeah, you heard it from our god, John Wardley, that this is like no other roller coaster. I mean, there's a lot of flying coasters nowadays, but still, I 100% agree with this hot take. And most of you probably won't, but I still think Galactica is better than Smiler. Hot take number four. I think Rita is better than Wicker Man. No, next hot take. I'm joking, I'm joking. Everyone deserves the same respect on Venom Films. Have you considered subscribing? It doesn't hurt. It's that big red button below the video. Go on, click it. Click it. Click it. I'm guessing you've clicked it by now. Anyway, Rita is better than Wicker Man. I mean, you've got to love a launch, especially on the front row, but I mean, you can get a launch from hundreds of roller coasters around the world, but what else does Rita have? Um, yeah, as a tyre. To be honest, Rita has nothing. It has a launch. And that's it. So, basically, I think, and I think everyone else would think, but Rita's terrible and in no way better than Wicker Man. But I do respect you if you like Rita. But on the topic of respect, have you considered subscribing? Here we have our only comment not about a roller coaster. Hex is awful. It has a rubbish pre show, rubbish ride experience, and got a rubbish queue. You can experience madhouses everywhere, and it's not open for most of the time. Alton Towers, remove it. Now, yes, the concept of the madhouse is quite outdated now, with it not being the best ride experience. And yes, the pre show isn't the best. But I wouldn't say it's awful, and the queue I think looks quite cool, especially with how historic it is, being an old building. And I know it's only a madhouse, but probably one of the best themed madhouses. Um, 
Yeah, the ride experience isn't the best, but the overall experience is quite good. The ride being more story based instead of thrill or family based, it has a lot of history. Probably one of the most iconic Alton Towers rides to ever exist as well, and it probably wouldn't be right to remove it, even though, yes, it's not been open for what's felt like decades now, but if they were to remove it, then they wouldn't be able to replace it with anything because the towers are a grade 2 building, so I'd rather have something than nothing. Comment 6. Smiler is the most overrated coaster. It's rough, repetitive and boring, and the only highlight is the second speed hill. Now, I've already covered how Smiler is quite overrated, and it is, but rough? I wouldn't say it's rough. Like I've already said, the last two inversions can be, but overall, no. Um repetitive now i think you're probably going to find it's quite repetitive inverting that many times but boring i wouldn't call it boring in any way but 13 on the other hand i'm joking if you like 13 you like 13 but the only highlight is the second speed hill now i wouldn't say it's the only highlight but it is one of the best highlights we do love that speed hill so yeah, Smiler is overrated, 100%, but I wouldn't say it's any way rough or boring, and I think most people would agree with that, but I see how you could find it repetitive and overrated. Now this last one was a very long one. So Wicker Man is better than Nemesis if you piece all its theming together. I do love Nemesis, but there's something special about the back row on Wicker Man, with its theming and airtime, easily best Woody in the UK. Now could say Wicker Man is better than Nemesis, you could. And yes, the theming on Wicker Man is amazing, but I think Nemesis has better theming than Wicker Man. I know that's a very bold statement, but as a roller coaster, I also think that Nemesis is a better experience and has better theming. Now, Nemesis next year could have much better theming than Wicker Man because, after all, Nemesis already had great theming with a monster tunnels, beautiful landscaping, blood red rivers, well maybe not the blood red rivers anymore, but you do actually feel as if he's gonna crack against the rock. And with a new paint job and more theming and maybe even a pre-show, maybe, maybe, Nemesis could easily have better theming than Wicker Man. Now I know most of you probably wouldn't agree with me, but yeah. That's basically one of my hot takes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I went a bit off topic then. Yes, the background Wicker Man is great. And great theming, great airtime. Yes, it is easily the best Woody in the UK. Well, it's not really that hard with the Grand National. Uh, but in all seriousness, yes, Wicker Man is a 10 out of 10. And a contender with Nemesis. But personally, I think it's not as good as Nemesis. But it's a hard one to debate. We are finally on to my hot takes. Now I noticed that mostly every roller coaster was mentioned except one. No one mentioned Octonauts, the best ride in the park by far, but really. Both Oblivion and 13 weren't mentioned, so I'm gonna do some hot takes on them. Now firstly, Oblivion. I don't think it's that good. The first couple of rides, don't get me wrong, a fun, thrilling, suspenseful, it was a great ride then. But after like three rides, like me, I've been on it at least over 20 times now, it just loses its intensity. With it just being a dive drop, and nowadays we have so much more complex dive coasters which invert and do much more of an Oblivion simple model. It doesn't even go vertical. Um, but of course, Oblivion was the first of its kind, and so it's not really capable of doing much. But even though I find it quite boring now, I still always go on it. It's still such a fun ride and it's so iconic and the first ride ever on it will always be intense and thrilling. After that, yes, it can get quite boring, but I wouldn't want to have it removed at all. I love to have a ride on it and yeah, due to standards nowadays, it doesn't really stand out like it used to, but it's still a great ride. Now moving on to 13, it's the exact same case as Oblivion. It's outdated, with lots of roller coasters having drop tracks now. It's not that unique anymore. The layout's boring, but your first ride ever on it will be good, especially if you don't know about the drop track. But after that, it just gets boring and repetitive again. It's basically exactly the same case as Oblivion. 
Thanks so much guys for watching this video and also a big thanks to everyone who gave me their hot take. Big shout out to all of you, all of your names are in the description. Maybe subscribe to them if they have a channel and if you like this video maybe consider subscribing to me and maybe like the video, maybe share it, I don't know. Um, more shorts on the way and hopefully some big videos on the way. Thanks so much guys for watching, I'll see you in the next one.